This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, January 22nd, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and the Finis Monitor today will catch up with Carolyn Joyce, and then we'll give you the results of the latest poll question and give you a new poll question. Carolyn Joyce has a new training home after spending so many successful years at the University of Georgia. She's now a Southern California gal swimming with Sean Hutchison at the Postgraduate Training Center in Fullerton. And she joins us right now in the Finis Monitor. Carolyn, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's California treating you? Um, it's treating me very well. It's uh, a little stormy today. The <laughs> weather is pretty crappy, but um, so far so good. Are you all settled in? You got a place and everything? Um, sort of. I'm in like a, um, being housed by a family for a couple weeks while I kind of figure out where I want to live in California. And um, I'm with Margaret Holzer, actually. Oh, hi, Margaret. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're getting a two for one here today on some of yeah, TV. Yeah, so we're temporary roommates um, with this really nice family that's letting us stay here. Well, that's awful nice of them. Yeah. Well, Margaret has a little bit more history with Coach Hutchinson, but uh, for you... Uh, here's my first question. Hutchinson, he's, he's an excellent coach. There's no doubting that. But he doesn't have necessarily a track record of uh, sprinters training with him. So why did you decide to go there? Um, well, I actually I got to know Sean pretty well in um, the summer of 08 at the Olympics. Um, he, w he worked with me a lot at the uh, prep camp. And um, I felt like I, I improved a lot. Like you helped me with my stroke and everything from the time that we had trials until the Olympics. And, um, you know, I just kind of needed a change. He practices once a day, which is great for sprint. And, um, you know, I, I really like it so far. So. What is something specifically with your stroke that you feel like he's, uh, he's improved? Um, well, one of the things right off the bat, uh, you know, the first day I dove in for warm up, he was, um, telling me to pay more attention to my stroke count, and that's something that we do every single day is um, trying to lengthen our strokes and get more distance per stroke. And also my kick, obviously, which is horrible, um, we've been working on. You're saying that uh, you, one of the best sprinters of all time, has a horrible kick? <laughs> I have like a three-and-a-half beat kick, <laughs> so maybe we can fix that. Now, now why? I mean, let me dwell on the kick there for a second. I mean, that seems so odd to hear <laughs> that you know, someone who won nine NCAA championships ha had a bad kick. I mean, maybe I just missed it. Has it always been bad, or what is it that's bad about your kick? Um, well, it's, it's my feet overlap. They go, like, whoosh, instead of, like, a constant, like, six beat. Um, I don't know. It's what I've always grown up doing, so I guess I just learned how to work with that. And, um, but apparently that's not the best way to do it. <laughs> Has that been a difficult habit to break? Yeah, it's... You know, it's really hard. It's like changing the way you walk. You know, it's it's not going to happen overnight. It's, um, you know, I've literally been doing it since I started swimming. So I think this is something that's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm really excited to, to work on it and, and see what kind of results we can get from it. So who do you train with? Because they, we know there are several high-profile swimmers there, mm -hmm. but not necessarily sprinters. So I mean, what's, a, what's a day of practice like for you? Um, well, so far I think there's seven or um, Whitney Myers actually just joined us today so I think there's eight of us um, Katie Hoff, Margaret Holzer, myself, Whitney, Caroline Burkle, um, Robert Margalis, um, Mika Burton I think and um, is that seven? Did I, did, I, did I get them all? Did you say Ariana? Ariana obviously Ariana um, and we all kind of warm up together um, it's it's different, you know, like some days I'll swim sets with Caroline, some days I'll do sets with Margaret, you know, it's it's very individualized, it's nice because we have such a small group, um, you know, he can do a lot of one-on-one, -on -one and um, I don't know, I'm kind of all over the place, you know, I'm, I'm used to doing a lot of yardage, so, you know, sometimes I'll get thrown in with like the, um, like the middle kind of set, and then sometimes I'll be doing like a short sprint set, so, I like it, it's, uh, he changes it up a lot. You ever miss Georgia? Oh, I miss Georgia every day. You know, I, Jack and I still have a great relationship, and um, I do miss Jack. You know, he was my coach for seven years. So, um, and I miss the team. They're about to host SEC, so that's going to be a fun time for them. You know, a lot of uh, post-grad swimmers stick with their college teams for a while. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's the, the way it's always been. But do you see swimming going in more of a trend where, you know, for people once they graduate college and with more and more pro swimming opportunities that they find 
you know, specialized programs that can work with them more individually? Oh, definitely. There's a huge change. Um, like they just so much emphasis on the national team now and helping us out in any way we can. You know, we just swam in the Long Beach Grand Prix last weekend and I just felt like we were really taken care of. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really, it's a great move for us. It's as much fun as it is to some of the college team. Um, you know, it's kind of hard when they get into competition season with conference and NCAAs and, you know, they're tapering and obviously they, the coaches have to pay attention to, you know, everything that they're doing. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just tough, but, um, I, I think it's a great move for swimming to have these, these centers that we can go to, um, where we kind of get the one-on-one attention again. And, um, I don't know, it's, it's going to be a good way, I think, to, to finish out my swimming career. How, how was that Grand Prix in Long Beach for you? <laughs> well, <laughs> after, a, um, I had just driven out here, I think, the Grand Prix started on Friday night, and the Thursday before was my one week of swimming at fast. So, um, I don't know. It's, I had rough mornings, but um, my night swims were a little bit better. So not your best meet is what you're saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what do you target as your next really fast meet? Um, I think Austin, the Texas Grand Prix, is going to be a good meet. You know, I'll have two and a half months under my belt at fast. I know it's probably going to take a little bit longer to adjust to the new training and everything, but um, I'm really looking forward to that meet. Well, Carolyn, we wish you the best of luck with the move. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks. All right, that's Carolyn Joyce and Margaret Holzer a little bit joining <laughs> us here on the Morning Swim Show, and we will be right back with the new poll of the week. Uh, this is weak, man. Frank's trying to not pay me my winnings for the skins beat down i just issued him because his 401k is tanking it's like dude you got to grab the reins man get e-trade do some analytics do some research and take charge so i don't have to subsidize your lack of golfing skills but on the night total you moved your ball frank it was on the cart path why don't you try reading the rules shankopotamus take control with one of the most powerful investing machines there is join the thousand new accounts a day at e-trade Welcome back. There were two poll questions this week. Which men's and women's swimming and diving programs will win the most NCAA Division I championships this new decade? On the women's side, you voted the Arizona Wildcats, number one, 17.2%. Very close behind in a tie for second, Texas and Auburn, and also a tie for fourth between Cal and Georgia. Now for the men, Texas was the runaway winner with 32.2%. Auburn, a distant second with 23.7%. Thank you very much for voting. Our new poll question has to do with a very timely topic. FINA just pulled the plug on high-tech suits for master swimmers as well. They can still wear them in yards competitions until June, but pretty much they're already banned for all the meters meets. So given that people don't just swim masters just for the times, our question this week is it a good idea that master swimmers won't be able to wear high-tech suits anymore? You can go to SwimmingWorld.com and cast your vote. And that's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.